Hey everybody, this is Nazori here with another guide for Mortal Online 2. This time I'm going to be going over how to make money in Mortal Online 2. Uh, we're going to go over some of the ways that you can use right when you first get started and then a lot of different options that you can choose in order to go out into the world, have a bit of fun and get some gold. Before we get into the various methods of what you can do to go get gold, I want to go over why you need gold. So gold is pretty important for first off when you are making your character and getting it trained up books. Books are very expensive. There's a lot of different rare books around the world and you're going to need hundreds of gold in the end in order to purchase all the books that you want. Some for learning different craftings, some for getting your combat better like heavy armor, fainting, there's a bunch of taming books. There's a lot of different books. You're going to need a lot of gold for that. You're going to need gold for housing. If you want to put down housing, houses are very expensive to put down. You're going to need a lot of gold there. And then obviously various different convenience things and gear. So you can buy horses from other players. You can buy gear from other players. So you're going to want to be able to make a decent amount of money. And you're going to want to know how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first. The easiest way for you to make money in this game when you first get started is zombies in the graveyard. Now, I don't want you to just go over to the graveyard and kill some zombies and collect their heads. Uh, that is one way to make money. But honestly, one of the best ways possibly to make money in this game is killing zombies and loading up a horse with the corpses. So what you can do is you can go to the graveyard, you either look around for zombies that have been killed by their players or you kill them yourselves, load the horse up with a bunch of corpses, go to the butcher table, butcher them up and sell the products. Uh, the meat is useless, but the bone tissue sells for a gold to stack. And honestly, one trip to the graveyard can net you around five to six gold. So rinse and repeat that if you need some gold while you're in town real quick. So the next is bandits and things like Rizars. Rizars are very difficult, so maybe if you're newer, stick to the bandits. But these two types of mobs pretty much just drop gold. They drop their heads and they drop various gems, which are worth a lot of money. Uh, basically, you just go out to various camps. If you need to find where those camps are, use the interactive map online. I will link that in the description of this video. Um, but you go to bandit camps, collect their heads, or Rizar camps, collect their heads, and all the different gems and things they drop and sell those back in town. Now be advised that this method is an easy way to get ganked. So while you're doing this, be on your guard for anyone riding up to you. A lot of people will hit the bandit camps and kill whoever's there. So uh, do this one with caution. Um, so along with bandits and humanoids that you can kill for straight up cash, you can also kill a lot of different animals around the world and butcher them for money. Basically, this involves bringing your horse. You can go kill basically just any creatures out in the wild like dire wolves, tour dogs, cougars, um, anything that drops skins or corpses and then load them up onto horses, bring them back to town. If you're a tamer, you can also bring an extra horse or a bear fill them up with bags as well and be able to haul a lot more corpses back to town. This is a good way to make money. You can sell the the meat. You can literally sell the skins, but also a lot of these things are going to be super valuable to other players. Things like guard fur and various items like that. Players will pay a lot of money for this. So you can also sell it on the market. Besides the obvious wildlife that are roaming around, you can also go to the dungeons with this method. There are various different dungeons all across the world, ones with spiders, ones with uh, the Selenos, probably pronouncing that one wrong, uh, but you can go there, kill those, load up your horses, bring them back down, same method, but obviously a completely different adventure. Just uh, keep in mind that when you're out and about, don't underestimate the value of the things you're killing. Load them up and bring them back. Other than butchering creatures and killing mobs and whatnot, we have crafting. This is an obvious choice, uh, but I do just want to talk about it for a minute. Basically, your character is probably going to have some sort of profession he, he works in, you know, whether he crafts armor or weapons or pet equipment. Use that to sell in the market. Every single uh, city is going to have people that need the thing you make. You may think like, oh, this was really easy for me to get. No one's going to want this. Well, other people might be, they have their, might have their points into armor crafting and they don't know how to make bows, right? Make some bows, chuck them on the market. I would say be careful with oversaturation. You're not going to be able to make an infinite amount of money every day with this method. You know, it's not something that you're just selling to NPCs, but it's definitely worth doing. Doing. So use whatever craft you have, chuck it on the market, and then check it every day. If people are buying it, then put more up there. But that is a really good way to kind of just add an extra set of income to your character. Along with this, if you are a tamer, the next method is actually one of the best ways to make money, in my opinion. It is selling horses. So every single person in this game will use a horse. 
at some point in time, usually 90% of the activities people do involve going out with a horse. So as a tamer, you can bring up to five horses back with you from a horse pond. So a really good method of making money is grabbing a horse, going out to a horse pond, grabbing four more horses, bringing them back. That is an easy 20 gold minimum. Uh, right now, horses are going for bare minimum, five gold a piece. And a lot of times, those are the mongrel horses. You can charge six to eight gold for some of these horses. So uh, if you are a tamer and you have those taming books already, selling horses is an excellent source of income. Last on the list here, we have fishing. Now, I have not done a whole lot of fishing, but from what I understand, it is a decent method of making money. You can go and fish in lakes, ponds, ocean. Once you get some decent skill and knowledge on what baits work, fish are just simply money. You can butcher them for various resources, or you can just sell them to an NPC. So I have not done a whole lot of this, but um, from what other people have told me, fishing is also a source of income. So if you really enjoy fishing, give that one a go. All right, uh, and guys, that about wraps up this video guide. If you have any questions or want to learn more, feel free to catch me live. I stream on Twitch almost every night at twitch.tv slash Nazori. Feel free to show up, ask anything more related. Uh, I'd love to see you there. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you want to see more of it, feel free to subscribe. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time.